Okay, sometimes you may not want to do the entire expansion. You may just want to find a single term in the binomial expansion. And they love these kinds of questions, particularly where there is an unknown value within the expansion. So it says here that the coefficient of x squared in the expansion of this thing here is 720. Find the possible value or values of the constant c. OK, well, if we were going to do this, I would probably draw out a table that would say the coefficient. And I'd say I'm going to do the two powers, which are going to start off at five and then they're going to come down. And I would do the minus cx, which is going to be going upwards. And I'm doing it to the power of five. So thinking of my Pascal's triangle, I know that the coefficients are going to be one, five, ten, ten. 5, 1. I'm just going to double check that by having a look at what I'd written before. Yep, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. And then I'm going to think about which bit I'm going to need to use. So I'm not going to fill in the whole of this bit, but if this is to the cx, this is going to be the power of 0, 1, 2. So I think I'm going to want this bit here. I'm going to do my minus cx, which is going to be squared. And then we'll think about the powers of the 2. Well, it's going to be 2 to the power of 5 four, three. So it's going to be two cubed. You may also have been able to spot that if I wanted it to be an x squared, then the power of two needed to be three, because remember, we've been saying that these powers here must add up to the power of the expansion that we're doing. So I'm not required to do the entire thing here, because all I'm interested in is the fact that the coefficient of x squared is 720. So let's actually just do these three that we've got here and work out what it comes to. So I would have 10 times 2 cubed times by minus cx all squared. So that's going to be 10 times 8, that's 80. The negative times the negative would be positive, so I would have 80c squared x squared. Well, it just says that the coefficient of x squared is 720, which means that this bit that I've got here is the thing that's equal to 720. So 80c squared is equal to 720. So I'm going to do 720 and I'm going to divide it by 80, which is obviously going to be 9. And then I'm going to square root both sides so that I get that c is equal to plus or minus 3. It didn't say that c was a positive constant here. So I'm going to say that the values that c can be in this, in this case are plus or minus 3. Three. That would create this um, coefficient here being 720. So they've got a couple of questions like that in the exercise. OK, so this one is something for you to have a go at. Um, there's two parts to this question, and I'm going to go through these in just a second. But it might be worth you pausing the video here, having a go and then seeing if you get the same answers as me. OK, so the first part says find the first three terms. It doesn't want all of them. It wants it in ascending powers of x of this thing that we've got here. And it says that k is a constant, give each term in its simplest form. So we're going to have to think of the um, binomial because we need to go all the way down to the seventh row. Well, I could start off by doing my 1, 1, 1, blah, blah, blah. But just try and go with the row that you know furthest down. So I know actually the fifth row was 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. So let's go to the next one. I'm going to have 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1. So if I'm now going to do the seventh row, the one that I want, it's going to go 1, 7, 21, 35, 35. In fact, I don't even need these because it only wants the first three terms. But I'm going to finish it just anyway. 21, 7, and 1. So we've got Good, I've got eight terms. We know there's always going to be one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm actually only going to be using a few of these because we're going to do the table just for the first three terms. So we're going to use the coefficient. We have the power of two, which is going to go down. We want the powers of the x part to be ascending, which means going up. We're only doing it for the first three. So it's going to be one, seven and twenty one. So we'll have 2 to the power of 7, 2 to the power of 6, 2 to the power of 5. We'll have kx to the power of 0, kx to the power of 1, and kx all squared. OK, so as we multiply down by these, we'll get what the expansion should be. So 2 plus kx to the power of 7 is going to be equal to 1 times 2 to the power of 7 times 1, 7 times 2 to the power of 6 times kx, and 21 times 2 to the power of 5 
times kx all squared. And it does say that it wants each term in its simplest form, so I'm going to make sure I simplify all of this. So I'm going to do my 2 to the power of 7, that's 128. I'm then going to do 7 times 2 to the power of 6. Whoops, that is 448, and there's a k, and there's an x. And then I'm going to have 21 times 2 to the power of 5, so that's going to be 672. And then I've got a k squared, and I've got an x squared. So I think that's us done for part A of the question. Now we're going to have a think about what it's asking in part B. It says, given that the coefficient of x squared is 6 times the coefficient of x, find the value of k. OK, so let's just write down what it's trying to say here. The coefficient of x squared, the coefficient of x squared is this bit. So 672k squared. We want this to be 6 times bigger than the coefficient of x. The mistake I see people make is they go like, oh, great, it says 6 times, so I'm going to times it by 6. But then that would mean that the other part is 6 times bigger than that one. So instead, we want the coefficient of x squared to be 6 times the coefficient of x. The coefficient of x, if I highlight it in green, is 448k. 448k. So um, I could end up, let's just actually start solving this. So I'm going to do 6 times 448. Let's just simplify that. And I get 2688. So 672k squared equals 2688k. Now, clearly, k could be equal to 0 in this case, but that's not going to really apply for this question because we're just then doing 2 to the power of 7. So let's divide both sides by k. So we get 672k equals 2688. So I'll do 2688 divided by 672. And we get the answer that k is equal to 4. So although k sort of is an answer, um, it, it does say that k is a, a constant. It probably should say that k is a positive constant, which would tell us we're not really talking about 0 there. And I'm just going to compare it to the mark scheme and see if we got this correct. So we did get 128, 448kx, 672k squared, x squared. That's great. And then it did say, hey, ignore k equals 0, seeing because you don't really need it. We get the answer that k is equal to 4. So you can have a go at exercise 8a and hopefully that will be enough for you to be able to do all of those questions. Good luck.